Welcome to module Database Maintenance in EDB Postgres Advanced Server. In this module, we'll talk about why we need to execute reindex maintenance command and when to use reindex in EDB Postgres Advanced Server. After that, we'll do quick demo for more clarification. Routine reindexing. You have seen that whenever you do an update or delete on a table, the rows get obsoleted and later on we have to perform vacuuming for reuse or reclaim that row. We also have to collect the stats on the table so that our planner can use the stats and create better plans. Now the thing that happen on your table data file that is fragmentation and bloating can also happen on the indexes because indexes are also storing the entries for the row pointers and the pointers will change whenever you do an update or delete. So the index entry for any row that you modify is obsoleted whenever you change that row. So you have index on a table column and the pointer are available for that index and now you change something in the underlying row and the position has changed. So new pointer is created inside the index page and the old pointer of that index page is obsoleted and that will cause bloating inside the index also. So here whatever happens on the data file of the table will also happen on the data file of the indexes. For tables we have vacuum command and that vacuum command will not do the work on indexes. So for indexes we need to use reindex command. Reindex is one of the maintenance command that must be run on the server and normally we do reindexing at least once a day so that the obsoleted or still entries from the index data pages can be removed. Now the question comes here how long it will take. So it all is it's all depend on how many indexes you have, what is the size of indexes and load on the server when you are running a reindex command. But routine reindexing is one of the requirement under the maintenance activity on the server. Now when to index. Routine reindexing is one of the important maintenance command or you can say task that you must carry on your indexes to keep your indexes healthy. So there are several reasons behind reindexing. One of the reason is bloated. There are a lot of obsolete entries inside your index pages. One of the good thing in Postgre on index page is that if an index page is completely empty there is not even one valid rows on index page, then that index page automatically reused. But think of an index which contain 10 entries and 10 pages, one entry per page. So the index contain one valid entry per page. Now this is which can cause bloating because all the entries can be kept on just one page instead of 10. Now why there are Actually, they are on 10 because I have done so many updates, deletes on my base table and that my index ended up with the one valid entry per page. So if there is one valid entry per index page, that index page is not reused. Now that's where you will need re-indexing or sometime you have changed some storage parameters for the index like fill factor, then also you need re-indexing or you are creating an index using concurrently option but it failed and that means that index is in invalid stage and you need to do re-indexing. So these are some of the reason behind re-indexing requirement for an index. Now how to do re-indexing? So you can see the syntax over slide like re-index, index, index name, even re-index table, table name. In that case all the indexes in table will be re-indexed. You can also execute re-index database, database name through that all the indexes in that database will be re-indexed. You can also execute re-index system and database name. In that case, the system index can also re-indexed. It is equally important for the system tables also to be re-indexed time to time because they are used by the planner. So make sure that run system re-index once in a month or once in a six month. So that system indexes are also re-indexed. Now let's perform a demo for more clarification and we'll check that how we do reindex on index. Now I'm going to connect to one of my server.
log in using enterprise db super user let me connect to our cluster using psql client and i'm going to create one table so let's say table name is demo and that table contain let me add three columns so the first column is let's say integer and the other one let's say name is id2 and that is also an integer and one more column that is name and the data type is let's say varchar simple now i'm going to insert some data into this table so let me insert some data for that let me generate a series for first column that is that is integer that is id column so I'm going to insert data 1 to let's say 200,000 and then we have one more column so let's generate series for that also so just mention here 1 to 200,000 on this also and in last we have one more column that is name so let me insert my name and we are done so we have inserted around 200,000 rows in this demo table now i'm going to create one index so create let me write index query so index simple now index name let's say index name is demo one or like a dem index simple and then you have to write on on which so table name so demo one table name and on which column so i'm going to mention here let's say column number two so id2 is okay and then just run this so we had created one index on table demo one now you can verify it verify it really is very easy actually slash d and just mention the table name that is demo one and you'll find that you have one index dem index is available and if you want to see the information about that index then then just you have to write a meta command that is slash di and plus with the index name that is dem index so you can see the information of this index really easy and like you can see that this table like this index is created on which table and the owner and the type of the object is also available now i'm going to update the table so let me update the table simple so update and the table name is demo one and then we have to change let's say set name and name is equal to earlier it was for other so i'm going to make it uh, fahad simple it's done so now let me verify again the index informations so you can see that now the size is increased to 13 mb because all the previous rows were obsoleted and new rows inserted so 200,000 rows were obsoleted and new 200,000 rows will add it the jump size whenever you make change inside your table that's why it is jump now i'm going to run reindex on the same table because now it require so let me just run reindex and just mention the index name so index name is dem index simple we are done now you have to verify it and the size is decrease automatically when you run reindex on the table even you can run reindex on database also as i told you so just like let me check how many db we have so let's say we have 2db edb and postgres and two templates available so i'm going to run reindex on database so just right here reindex and uh, then simple like system on system tables of database so system and then database edb simple like that or else you can run simple reindex also on database directly so let me run on postgre database let me check first the query so you have to write just slash h and then re-index so i have to write here database so like i'm let me write here re-index database and database name is postgres simple can only reindex the con currently open database so we cannot do that so first we have to connect to database postgres we are connected now let me try to do that 
yes we are done so this is how you can do re-indexing on the table on database or system table which is inside the database